It's finally here, ladies and gentlemen. Action! What's going on, moviegoers all over the world? My name is Ryan D, a controller Ryan 680. I'm Angela, that cat lady Ange. And I just got done working out, guys. And it's crazy. I mean, news has been broken. It's finally here, ladies and gentlemen. We finally have it. And are you excited for this? I am. I'm yeah. really excited. We've been waiting for this for the longest time, and I'm pretty stoked to see what I'm going to yeah, see. The anticipation's killing me. All right. You ready for this, guys? Because we are totally not. All right. Hope you're ready for this. Wow. We passed on all we know. A thousand generations live in you now. But this is your fight. What the heck? was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Rise of Skywalker. This film is not yet rated. Man, okay, what the heck? Like, wow. Okay, so many mixed emotions right here. I mean, just right off the bat, though, we get this anticipation, and the music is actually okay. The last trailer, the last trailer that we, the the last trailer we actually. Saw um, the last trailer we actually. Sorry about that. I don't know what was going on. Uh, the last trailer we actually saw, um, uh, you know, of course, was uh, Last Jedi, and I, I didn't like the music too much. It was okay, but this music sounds like it's going back to its original, but mixing it up a little bit. And I feel like that, you know, just with everything, I just the anticipation of this music was really on point when it came down to it because it was really showing us. Um, it kept showing us, uh, you know, just. Ah, just the moments, the the build up from it, and, and from the trailer alone. And this is like a what a two minute tra- teaser, and it's not even a full official trailer. So two minute teaser. I mean, right off the bat, you know, we get uh, we get Ray just like looks like she's ready, looks like she's finally ready, prepared. Um, so JJ Abrams did confirm, guys, the Star Wars Celebration. Um, he did confirm that it's not right off the bat, right after uh, Last Jedi. So it's been some time. Hey, he didn't put into context into what time frame but he did say it's been some time since the last jedi so obviously she's been training she's been preparing herself for this i mean just a lot um and then also we did get carrie fisher in here too which was pretty good huge momenta i mean for her i mean she's you, you couldn't replace her and they even gg abrams said it on the star wars celebration that they did not cgi her in there so it's extra you know she was pretty much almost done filming um, her part, but I mean, Angela, what are you, what are you thinking right now? I mean, just um, I would have to disagree with you on the music. I liked the music, okay, the little bit that we got on the trailer. I disagree with you in that the last Jedi music you said wasn't that great. I yeah. thought it was great. I think all the music, especially in this newer trilogy, I actually really do enjoy it, and yeah. I think it's like I agree with you in the sense that it does have that build up in certain moments, and it just invokes yeah. that. Some of the, um, it just invokes so much emotion. It's like you're so anticipated. You mm-hmm. you feel conflicted. You feel yes. like worried about what's going to happen. You feel like 
uh, excitement for you, rooting for the characters that you want. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as the late the Carrie Fisher being in there, I, I'm super excited to see her. Um, I do know in the Last Jedi how she survived the crash <laughs> yeah. or the um, the attack on the bridge. Uh, that was a little iffy on me but i still am excited to see her and see Mm -hmm. how her character plays out in this new film i'm excited to see ray her journey as becoming a jedi um and using the force and growing with the force i'm super excited to see where her journey is and and what she's learned so far you see that there's a gap between the last movie and this one i'm really excited to see and luke even says like it's a thousand generations of jedi in you Right. So it just, I mean, it, you know, it, it's funny because, you know, a lot of people say like, oh, um, when when it comes down to it, you know, when one during this saga, when one made J.J. Abrams, when he made um, the first one, Force Awakens, Ryan Johnson made The Last Jedi, and then now he's finishing it off. Um, so he did say in context, too, he did say that, you know, this movie's the end of the saga, the end of the Skywalker era. So, which I kind of figured they would name it Skywalker somewhere in there. I didn't know it was going to be called The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, you know, that's... It's it's not a terrible title, I would say, but it's it's a decent one, I guess you could say. It's not the best. I wouldn't say it's the best title, but then again, we don't, you know, coming into context of the movie and everything until we actually see the film, maybe it'll make sense in the very end. Right, I get yeah. the same. I, it doesn't necessarily make 100% sense to me. Yeah, because then um, you start off Force Awakens, because Last Jedi... The Rise of Skywalker. Like, where does that, like, you know, just... Because for me, it's yeah. we do see that Luke did his spirit passed on in yes. the last film. So for yeah. me to have this new film, yeah. and it's, especially you say, it's, there has been a time period from the yes. last film and this one. Yeah. To have that new film be The Rise of Skywalker, I mm-hmm. feel like there's a little bit of maybe maybe him coming back in like yeah. the spirit form i don't well, know well, see, it's he has to be he has to be because i mean same thing with when master yoda was trained uh he became master qui-gon trained him to uh in spirit he had to train him back in the clone wars we see that so many times uh he actually talks to yoda and tells him you need to guide the future of the jedi and this is the way to do it preserve your mind and he did go back to the uh he went to the dagobah system during the Clone Wars, I don't know if any, any of you Star Wars fans knew that, but yeah, he uh, of course y'all do. But uh, he went to the Dagobah system and he got taught to do that. Now I'm guessing the exact same thing happened whenever uh, Skywalker between the last uh, uh, between um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh my gosh, Force Awakens. No, no, yeah, between Force Awakens and Master. Return of the Jedi. I'm sorry. So between Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens, I'm you know we have to assume that. Skywalker got taught that by Yoda because he was starting his own Jedi school and everything. So with that being said, I mean, just so much history right there alone. I mean, he has to preserve your mind into the Force. And that's what Qui-Gon taught Yoda. And then that's what Yoda taught Skywalker, I felt like. And then Ben, even Ben uh, Ben Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi got taught the same way. So to, to preserve the rights and to preserve the legacy of the Jedi, it's it's way more powerful than one person. It's way bigger than one person, and it's the Jedi Order. Now, um, so we did say we did see Lando getting back on the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> How do you feel about Lando coming into this? I mean, dude, he looks awesome. Like he looks, he's good for his age, yeah. and I. I don't know how I feel about it. I yeah. liked his character, but I, I'm curious to see how it's, he fits into this. Like yeah. you said, that there's just going to be a new generation of Jedi. We see the little yes. teaser from uh, The Last Jedi, how there's, you know, that one kid working in um, that casino planet. And yes. he, like, has, like, that little moment where he guides the broom to him. So you know that there mm. obviously are other children out there in the yeah. galaxy um so we do see that continuation there is this new generation coming yes but how does lando fit into all of this yes that's I mean, what i want is know. he is he still at bespin or is he you know what i mean like it's just <laughs> is he still at cloud city you know and so so many things happen actually at star wars celebration it was funny he was uh he was saying um i had you know he was doing an interview at star wars celebration at the panel and he was all like I have to say sorry all the time for portraying Han Solo <laughs> to regular people because <laughs> he thinks he's portrayed Han Solo. He, I mean, to be honest, he was just uh, Darth Vader. I mean, come on. If you were against Darth Vader, I mean, he, he, I would say he redeemed himself by now. I mean, he redeemed himself way more than okay. anything when he got Han back. So, but fans uh, yeah. will not uh, let yeah, it go. Yeah, no, yeah. They will not let it go. <laughs> you betrayed Han Solo. And then, yeah, but he, remember, he's, he helped get him back too. So, you know, you can't, you can't distinguish that. So, I mean, so the laugh. Now, the laugh is complete darkness, and we hear a laugh. Who is that? I don't know. It sounds, and I it know sounds... this is not probably what? possible. Like who? 
It sounds like Palpatine. Palpatine, right? That's what I was thinking too. Okay, but we don't, I mean, okay, for instance, what if the same thing could happen for the Jedi as they kept their order and the same thing happened with so the So you're Sith? saying you think in the sense of how Qui-Gon and Yoda have learned to... Go with the Force. To learn live. to have their spirit live within yeah. the Force. You think the same thing the Sith have learned. Yes, I mean, to be honest, I haven't really finished the Sith book. I mean, it does talk about how they have powers over creatures and everything and how the Sith is well, all about it, power and everything. I mean, yeah. if it is possible in the yeah. universe to do that, if if Qui-Gon and Yoda yeah. have learned to manifest themselves, manifest then their why, spirits. Then why not the Sith? How yeah. it, it is possible for the Sith to do that. Yeah. Whether they've learned it? I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe that laugh is Palpatine. He's, you know, well, see, still alive in spirit. Maybe he's coming yeah. to Kylo Ren. I know Kylo Ren has been a well, central he's part. Yeah. And he is, we've conflicted seen so him conflicted times. in yeah. Force Awakens. We he looks him. pretty bad, like pretty awesome when he's throwing, when he's picking up that guy and just throwing him down. Like, so I was like, maybe Dang. as ha- how Winter's uh, Yoda's coming. come. It like Winter was there. <laughs> so maybe how, like, how Yoda's like manifested in spirit to Skywalker. Yeah. Maybe Palpatine has manifested to Kylo Ren. I mean, there's we so many, know. yeah, it so many sounds, questions. But it does sound like yeah. that. Um, do you think it could be possible to have it be um, Snoke? Do you think that the last? No, could be I think Snoke? I think I think he he felt short on the last movie, very short. And Ryan Johnson put an end to that, I guess, because I mean, obviously, we did see him. He had he had the Force, but. He wasn't. A, I don't. Was I, don't I wouldn't consider. I wouldn't consider him a Sith. I really wouldn't. I don't think he was. I think he was. He was just a force evil. wielder. He did have yeah. the force. He was really strong, powerful. Um, I don't know if his character was supposed to be very, very important because we yeah. didn't get his whole we backstory. Yeah. And but, I would have liked yeah. to seen that. But if his character is not important, then enough said. Like, done. Thank yeah. you. Next. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I'm excited for this. I can't wait. The rise of uh, rise of Skywalker. Um, man, this was amazing. I mean, Star Wars Celebration was awesome. They were actually, um, it leaked online and then they were all like, oh, well, then just, we just released it. So Disney was just like, you know, instead of deleting it, we're just to release it because we're going to release it tomorrow anyway. So why not just release it? Because they originally planned it to release Saturday morning. And now they have to release Thank it Thank you today. to those who yeah. leaked it. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. Uh, that was our Star Wars talk, guys. Be sure to look us up on our Disney podcast. We'll be mentioning this as well on our Disney podcast where we talk about everything Disney from the Disney parks, our experience at Disney parks. And and just everything Disney related, of course, this, the Disney streaming service as well, guys. If you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to, guys. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. As always, I'm your host, Ryan D. Ignore Ryan 680. I'm Angela, that cat lady, Ange. And this is Alamo City Movie Talk. Movie Talk for movie fans, guys. So thank you for making us a part of your day.